this tree there is one of the most extraordinary plant predators. It's one animal that I don't need to sneak up on. This extraordinary creature is half blind, half deaf, and this is just about as fast as it can move. That's what's going to happen to you if you live on nothing but leaves. It's a sloth. It's not exactly an enthusiastic leaf eater. A couple of half-hearted chews and the leaves go straight down to its stomach. Leaves, however, are not easily digested. The sloth's technique is to give them time. Then, eventually, this mobile compost heap pulls itself together and starts on a long and dangerous journey. This is a very unusual sight, a sloth in a hurry. It wants to defecate, and the only place it's happy doing that, oddly enough, is down on the ground. It only does it about once a week, but why does it come down to the ground to do it? Whatever the reason, it must be very important, for a sloth on the ground is almost helpless. Any predator could attack it, and it doesn't have the speed to escape. Why it comes down in this way is a mystery. Nobody knows. Now he's finished, and back he goes up to the safety of the canopy. Leaves are not very nutritious. The sloth's way of compensating for that is not to eat more, but to do less. Its claws hook over the branches so that the sloth can hang without any effort of its muscles, which have been reduced to thin ribbons. And to save energy, it spends most of its time hanging around half asleep in the treetops. So I think, I think we were very much on trial, as it were, the first day we went out. Wasn't we certainly we? were. Mm. Yeah. I remember being told, don't look them in the face, don't stare them in the eyes, and don't stand up and crawl through the vegetation and grunt. The first view of a silverback, absolutely. That's mm. Great swirl of vegetation and this huge animal sort of disappearing into the undergrowth. And our first encounter with them, you saw palm trees being snapped off and, and you know, here were very, very powerful animals and we were just about to approach them. And, uh, you know, there's just a little frisson of fear. <laughs> I mean, it is quite difficult to keep your distance because it's not that you go to them, is it? They come to no, you. No, no, um, and once you're accepted, you become irrelevant. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh.